Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a grinding house in Adopt Me. But before we do get started, be sure to follow my Roblox profile link down below in the description to join my game. And also be sure to join my Roblox group link also down below in the description. We have a bunch of fun over there and there's also some really cute merch that you guys can purchase. But with all that being said, let's get straight into today's video. Alright you guys, so I made this video a while back, but you guys have been asking for an updated version since I've come a long way, so I decided to finally do it. So let me just tell you guys, the possibilities of making grinding houses are endless. They can be really big ones, or they can be really small grinding rooms just within a house. So this is my grinding house right now. I actually just recently built this so that when we are all grinding together in the Ash Army, we all have an option to place our pet on something without having to wait our turn. Please keep in mind that if you do rebuild my grinding house, be sure to give credit. I will tell you guys that this is the Dragon's Castle House and I actually think that this room is perfect for all of the grinding. So now I'm going to give you guys some tips on what house to choose when you're building your grinding house and what items to buy. Alright you guys, so as you can see, Adami has so 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 many houses that you can choose from when you're trying to pick your home for your grinding room. So I recommend if you want to spend as little money as possible and only have a grinding house with no other rooms, definitely go with the tiny house. This is only 240 AMC and if you still have your starter house, you still have this house. If you want to build a grinding room within a house, I recommend the estate. I actually have my own estate with a grinding room within it. You guys have probably seen this before. It's one of my favorite houses that I've ever built. And if you want the biggest grinding house possible, you can do what I did. And I bought this dragon's castle because on the inside, there are so many huge rooms that you can build for grinding. And it's a really cool house in my opinion. The outside just looks so cool. But honestly, the possibilities are endless. You can choose whatever house you want to because this is your grinding house after all. All right, you guys. So now I'm going to show you how to spend your money wisely when you're building your house. So for the shower need, I recommend you don't use bathtubs just because they are pretty expensive. What I recommend you do is you use showers because the cheapest one is only 13 bucks and the one I use is 14 bucks, which is the modern shower. Also, another advantage of using showers instead of bathtubs is they are actually faster than the bathtubs. So if I, was, if I were to put my pet in a shower, it would take less time than if I were to put my pet in a bathtub. For beds, the cheapest pet bed is a hundred bucks, um, which is the circular pet bed. The one that I use is 120, it's the rectangular pet bed. Um, so just use one of those if you're going for the cheaper side, definitely use the circular pet bed. But um, I just really like the rectangular pet bed because you can put them like this, you can put them against each other so that you can have more and it still just looks like one straight line. But again, it's just based on your personal preference. Next is the food and water bowls. So actually, if we search up water, you can get the separate food and water bowls. So we have a pet water bowl that's 80 here, and then we have the pet food bowl that's 80 as well. But if you want them built in one like this, you can go to the pet section in build mode. And as you can see, we have this, this sleek feeder, which is only 99. I recommend that you guys buy the sleek feeders because they are less than the pet water bowl and the pet food bowl combined. And it's also the cheapest mixed um, feeder. Because as you can see, this modern pet bowls is 130. So just the sleek feeder is honestly the best way to go if you're looking to spend as little money as possible. And they're also really cute because you can recolor them. Now you guys, these pianos are optional. This is to complete the board task. Um, you can just go to the playground by going into your inventory, going to strollers and just teleporting to the stroller shop, going outside and going to the playground. But if you don't want to leave your house um, for that, you can just buy these pianos. They are a hundred bucks each. There's no other exception. Um, they are, um, they're pretty expensive. I bought six of them, so that's 600 bucks. It's pretty expensive, but when you're grinding, you can make that money back. So this is just a faster way to go to the park if you don't want to go to the park. I see a bunch of people saying that these hot springs um, that are 750 each actually um, help with the hot spring task. I'm just going to tell you guys, this is not true. I've tested it multiple times. The hot spring task 
is the only way to actually complete the hot spring is by going to the hot spring. So that's the only way that you can complete that task. You cannot use the hot spring inside of build mode. That's just for decoration. Well guys, thank you so, so, so much for watching today's video. If you enjoyed, please be sure to give this video a very big thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button down below. Turn on your post notification bell so you never miss another Adopt Me tutorial, build, short, and everything related to Adopt Me. Also, be sure to answer the question of the day down below in the description. I hope to see you guys in the next video. Have a great day or night. Bye!